Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. I was just doing my weekly cleaning and I saw something that I uh, thought would uh, make a really good impromptu video based on some questions I've been getting referring to how you can predict when your boa is going to give birth for a gravid female specifically to the waxy stool. And many people have heard of this waxy stool. It's kind of a mythological uh, character in some people's minds since they've never actually seen it and I don't see it a lot of the times but basically it's kind of a misshapen uh, strangely colored feces that is passed usually about a week to a few days before the female gives birth and you know the point is she wants to kind of clear out her system to make room for the babies and I actually have seen the waxy stool if you look in the bottom that kind of greenish yellowish pile of poo right there that is what the waxy stool looks like and there's a close-up I realize a pile of poo isn't the most beautiful or inspirational thing to look at but this is kind of what these waxy stools look like they usually have a kind of strange color and shape often they have kind of a plasticky appearance kind of waxy or plasticky. I think they basically have been in the female's gut for quite a long time since they don't usually poo when they're gravid. Uh, so they just are kind of passing really old waste material in an effort to make room or you know to prepare for the birth of the babies. And often I don't see these because they kind of bury them under the substrate and I usually don't bother my females when they're gravid. I you know uh, handle them and touch them as little as possible but in this case the female laid it out in the open so there is the waxy stool back to the female there's a few other things that make me pretty certain that the birth of these boas will happen in probably the next couple of weeks maybe even the next week her due date is in about a week based on her post ovulation shed which means you know you just add 105 days to the post ovulation shed which puts us at about a week from now and that lines up with the waxy stool she's also come out of her hide and this particular female was just always in her hide hugging the heat for the last few months but now she's out kind of stretching around or start stretching out which they would typically do you know the week before they give birth then looking at the abdomen the lower you know third or so of this female's body where the babies are cooking she's looking really big really swollen up so hopefully lots of nice babies in there and then if you look at her tail the females will often sit in this position where their tail is kind of at a pretty abrupt angle you can see right there and then you know the tip of her tail is kind of under her body but it's also at a kind of an abrupt angle and you know I think this is kind of the position that's most comfortable for them in the end stages of pregnancy because there's you know more and more pressure in there as the babies are developing and being ready for birth now I'll just wrap up this video with a look at this female she's a real beautiful animal uh, this female has never been bred she's a 2014 baby produced by Russell LaFleur unrelated to any of my other surnames so really excited and this is kind of a smaller female she's only about five feet long and she was just always really small you know when I fed her my, my typical feeding regimen even fed her a little bit extra and she just didn't get really big so uh, perhaps this is a you know dwarf or semi-dwarf type of Suriname or you know maybe it's the start of a bloodline or you know a breeding project that the animals won't get that big but you know regardless just really like this animal she's got a real spunky personality but uh, she's not aggressive and I just love her saddles and uh, her colors just a real nice example of a Suriname and so hopefully in the next week or two We'll have some babies, but just please stay tuned and keep your fingers crossed for me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.